everyone, it's Miss Carol, and it's, I call it story time, but I've been reading, and I am going to read again from our superhero storybook. So we're actually reading about superheroes in the Bible. So I hope you've been enjoying listening to these um, superheroes that, that I've been reading to you each week. I have three more that I wanted to read to you. The first one is called Superhero John the Baptist. An Appetite for Locusts and Wild Honey John the Baptist had a very important job. His work was to tell people that someone more important than him was coming, Jesus. He didn't go into the cities to tell people this. He stayed out in the wilderness and people came to hear what he was preaching. The people couldn't miss John. He wore clothes made from camel hair and he ate locusts and wild honey. But they came from all over to hear him say, Change the way you are living. Pay attention to God. Many people listened to John's message and decided to change the way they had been living. They decided to stop sinning and to obey God. When they made that decision, John baptized them in the Jordan River. But John didn't make himself the star of his message. John told people that there was another man coming whose message was even more important than his. John said, I am baptizing you with water to show that you have decided to live for God. But the man coming after me will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit will live in your heart and help you live for God. He was talking about Jesus. John knew that his work was to help the people get ready to hear all that Jesus would teach him. John was happy to do God's work. Superhero characteristic. John the Baptist didn't like the limelight, and he didn't want to be a superstar. The greatest superheroes are the most humble ones. He knew that Jesus was greater than him, and all he wanted to do was prepare the way for the greatest superhero of all. Superhero tip. God has work for everyone to do. <clears throat> it's most important to do whatever God asks you to do. Even if you aren't the star, you will always be God's star. How true, boys and girls. Alrighty, I have another superhero I want to read to you. Superhero Philip. A man on a mission. Philip was an evangelist. That meant that he traveled around teaching people about Jesus. He loved God very much and tried to always obey him. One day an angel came to talk to Philip and said, God has a special job for you to do. He wants you to travel down a certain road. Philip didn't know why he should do that, but he obeyed it. It wasn't long before a fancy chariot came along. As it passed him, Philip saw the man riding in it. He knew that the man was an important man in the government. Go and walk beside the, the chariot, God told Philip. That's just what he did, and he saw that the man was reading from the book of Isaiah. Do you understand what you're reading, Philip asked? No, how can I... If no one explains it to me, the man said, do you understand it? Can you explain it? Philip said that he could. So the man invited Philip to ride along with him in the chariot and teach him about God's word. Philip gladly told the man about God's wonderful love. The man believed everything Philip told him. When he saw a river near the road, he asked Philip to baptize him right then and there. The important government man became a Christian because Philip obeyed God and told the man about God's love. Superhero characteristic. Philip was a man on a mission. His mission was to spread the good news about Jesus. His special assignment was to explain the Bible to the Ethiopian man who gave his life to Jesus and was baptized by mission accomplished. Superhero tip. If you listen for his direction, God will give you chances to tell others about God's wonderful love. 
Be ready to tell others whenever you can. How true is that, boys and girls? One more superhero. Superhero Paul, a true transformer. Paul did not like Christians. He did not believe in Jesus. He thought Christians were wrong about what they believed. He even put people in jail just because they followed Jesus. He put all the Christians in his city in jail. Then he got permission to travel to another city to do the same thing. Paul was on his way to a city called Damascus to put the Christians there in jail too. As he walked down the road, all of a sudden a very bright light shined down on him and a voice from the sky said, Paul, why are you doing these things to me? Oh, Paul was so surprised that he fell flat on the ground. Who is this? Who is speaking? Paul asked. I am Jesus, the voice said. The men who were traveling with Paul heard the voice too, but they didn't know where it was coming from. Jesus told Paul to go on into the city and then he would tell him what to do. When Paul got up, he was blind and had to be led into the city. God told some of the Christians there to take care of Paul. They were afraid because they knew that he put Christians in jail. But God told them not to be afraid because Paul had changed. Yes, at that very moment when Jesus spoke to him on the road, Paul believed that Jesus is God's son. He stopped hurting Christians and began following Jesus. Paul's life completely changed. He spent the rest of his life teaching others about Jesus and how to live for God. Superhero characteristic. Talk about transformers. Paul was a real life transformer. He went from hating Christians to loving Jesus. From being blind to be able to see. From being an agent of darkness to to being a radical light spreader. Superhero tip. When you believe the truth about Jesus, your life changes. Living for God and telling others about him becomes the most important thing. Wow, three really superhero <laughs> storybook. Oh, we three strong and brave Bible heroes. I love reading from this book every week, boys and girls. And actually, I think I we have one more week till our one more week, and then our Google Classroom lessons will be over. Summer will be here, and I think I have three more superheroes left in this book. If I don't, I might end up reading uh, one or two again that I read earlier. But they're all so wonderful. I'm sure you won't mind if I read them again. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed hearing about our superheroes today. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And as I always say to you, God is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. And he loves you very much. Remember to, to tell Jesus how, and, and God how much you love him as well. Take time to spend with God during the week. And until the next time we have story time. I am going to say blessings to you all. I miss you. And until the next time, see you later, guys. Have a great week. Bye.